Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. It's Wednesday, March 11th, and it's a B-Day. We'll keep this short because we know you need to get going on your SEL work today during advising. Before we let you loose to do that, though, we have a message about some important women who fought for the right to vote. Don't exclude us. Don't exclude women. Don't exclude the whole half of the human family. Good morning. I'm Sarah Halverson, and that statement comes from Mathilda Anecki, speaking in New York City in 1869. Anecki, a Prussian-born immigrant who arrived in Milwaukee in 1850, spent her life advocating for the rights of women. Yet you most likely never heard of her. You have heard that March is Women's History Month, and this year we are focusing on the story of how women earned the right to vote in the Badger State. It's important to realize that women were among the greatest reformers in Wisconsin history, in spite of not being able to vote in national elections until 1920. You might be surprised to know that the debate over women's suffrage or voting was actually part of the original debates over our state constitution in 1848. Unfortunately, voting was restricted to white men in that early constitution and it took many years of struggle for women to gain that right. The story of that struggle is inspiring. Realize that in 1848, the same year we became a state, an important meeting took place in New York called the Seneca Falls Convention. The purpose of the convention was to discuss the, so the social, civil, and religious condition and rights of women said Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony. They were the two important voices in Seneca Falls and their work inspired women across the country, including Wisconsin. In 1869, Stanton and Anthony spoke in Milwaukee at the first suffrage convention held in Wisconsin. From that convention, the Wisconsin Women's Suffrage Association, the WWSA, was formed under the leadership of Dr. Laura Ross, Wisconsin's first woman doctor. These women, among others, laid the groundwork for women's suffrage in Wisconsin. Thanks for listening today. Thank you for that, Ms. Halverson. For GM97, I'm Sierra Isaac. And I'm Kelana Pribino. Have a great Wednesday. And an amazing break. Bye! Bye.